Happy 4th of July for dinner today. We're eating early because we have smoked tri-tip that is all done and looking very, very delicious. Corn on the cob with lemon pepper seasoning, Caesar salad, and ice cold sweet watermelon wedges. So happy 4th of July. Happy firecracker day. For dinner tonight, we are having brisket. So yesterday when my husband smoked a tri-tip, he also smoked a brisket. So we're having that for dinner tonight, along with some baked beans, some zucchini and yellow squash that I roasted in the oven, and corn on the cob, and some mangled garlic hot dog buns. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight. Happy... Friday. For dinner tonight, we are going to have French dip sandwiches. I've got some French rolls. I have water boiling for my corn. So I need to put that in. I have the au jus gravy warming up and also I have the leftover brisket is warmed up and ready. So all I have to do is toast up the French rolls and finish cooking the corn and get the au jus ready and then we're also having Caesar salad. So that's what we're having di for dinner tonight. Let's continue our cooking. little more. Okay, that's good. Okay, we're having really very cold, icy cold red wine with our dinner. So here we have our corn on the cob, our Caesar mm -hmm. salad, and our French dip sandwiches. And it's a very hot evening, but this is going to be a really good dinner. So happy Saturday night. All right, for lunch today, I am out shopping. I worked at my tiny little part-time job this morning. So I'm out shopping and I always bring my lunch because you don't want to be out shopping and buying stuff when you're starving. So I always bring my lunch with me. I have a Olay Extremeless, Extreme Wellness Wrap here. Inside it, I have pastrami, mustard, provolone cheese, and some lettuce. And then I have these Weight Watcher chips. You can't buy these anymore. These are left over. They're old, but they're not bad. They're a little stale, but they still taste okay. And then I have my drink. So that's what I am having for lunch today. Now I also have a lunch dessert here in my lunch bag. I better have it in here. Yes, here's my lunch dessert some no sugar applesauce. I love this stuff. So I can eat this and not be starving when I'm shopping. So makes me happy. So that's what's for lunch today. We'll see you for dinner. For dinner tonight on Sunday night, we're having the French dips again. This is the leftover brisket and tri-tip on a French roll. And we have our dipping sauce for it. More corn on the cob and more Caesar salad. So happy Sunday. Mm -hmm. For dinner tonight, we are having burgers that darling husband barbecued on the grill, and he also barbecued the fridge fries on the grill. And we are having a milkshake, and I have it in a bowl of ice to keep it all nice and cold and frosty. And that's what we're having for dinner tonight. So we're just going to pretend we're clicking because his is in a bowl of ice too. So happy Monday. Happy Burger Monday. Meaty Burger Monday. All right, for dinner tonight, we're going to have leftover burgers. Just going to warm them up on the grill. And we're going to have corn on the cob on the grill, zucchini and yellow squash, and the buns are getting warmed up on the grill. So it's all outdoor cooking today. I won't have to be in the house cooking where it's hot. It's really hot out here too. It is a very beautiful but very hot hot day here in Southern California so 
It's too hot to be cooking inside. Dinner looks amazing tonight. We've got our sweet corn, our grilled zucchini and yellow squash, and our leftover burger from last night. Tonight we're just having heart healthy red wine. Happy non taco Tuesday. Okay, tonight is Friday night and we are at Bunko. Now, this is so interesting because my friend, this is her yard. Her husband works for CBS, so there's all kinds of CBS props. There's the Price is Right thing, there's Survivor. There's just all kinds of cool stuff. It's beautiful here. We're gonna be playing Bunko on the patio. There's hummingbirds everywhere because she's got a lot of hummingbird feeders. They're just everywhere. So we're gonna go see what we're gonna have for dinner. She's got a phone booth over there. Does anybody remember phone booths? Yeah, she's got a phone booth, all kinds of antiques out here. This is her husband's barbecue station. It's pretty cool. It's really cool. She has like her whole, like her backyard, her patio is like an extra living room. It's or kitchen, dining room. It's really cool. So for dinner tonight, we're going to have all kinds. We have an assortment of drinks. We've got chips. We've got pulled pork in the crock pot. Normally her husband barbecues, but today we're having pulled pork in the crock pot. We've got macaroni salad, watermelon. And we're gonna put our pulled pork on some rolls. And yeah, this is just a beautiful evening. She usually likes to host in July because she likes to do it on her patio, and July is always beautiful and warm and just really nice. So happy Friday night. I'll show you my dinner. Okay, so I'm having macaroni salad, watermelon, and my sandwich. And I also have sugar-free lemonade and barbecue potato chips. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Woo! Five. Five. Six. Six. Put your mini. Put your mini down. Put your mini down. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nothing. Man, I was doing so good. Come on, Linda. Big money. One. One. For dinner tonight on Saturday, we're starting early. It is about 5.30 in the morning, so I have my steak in the crock pot, and I've just put a whole bunch of onion on it. This is one whole onion, and we're just going to cook this on low all day, and it'll make really good meat. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with it. I'm not sure if I'm going to put taco seasoning mix on it and make taco meat or barbecue sauce and make um, sandwich meat or or if I'll put this on it and make steak and gravy. I'll probably just put this on it and make steak and gravy. We'll have it with mashed potatoes and some kind of vegetable and it's a quick easy meal that you can leave in your crock pot all day and you don't have to worry about it until it's time for dinner and then dinner's ready. So we're getting to cooking right now. It's about 2.30. The meat is brown and it smells delightful. There's a lot of good meat drippings. So I'm going to put the cream of mushroom soup in. And it's going to make a really good gravy. And we're going to have that over mashed potatoes. And we're going to have green beans with it. And then with the leftovers, I can make some shredded barbecue beef sandwiches. So... Super excited for this dinner tonight. With our steak and gravy, we're going to have mashed potatoes. So I have the potatoes boiling right now. And we are also going to have green beans. And I'm going to make some of these flaky layer biscuits that I need to use up. They've been in my refrigerator for a while. Let's see what the date is. August. Oh, they're still good. Okay. So we're going to have these, and it's going to be a good dinner. And here is our steak and gravy, mashed potatoes, green beans, and biscuit. So happy Saturday. For dinner tonight, we're going to have our leftover steak and gravy. 
and I'm going to add barbecue sauce to it and heat it up in a pan. We're going to have barbecue beef sandwiches and green beans. And I have some frozen french fries that I'm going to throw in the oven. So it'll be an easy quick dinner tonight. Let's get to cooking. I found some barbecue sauce in the fridge, so we're going to use that up also. So this is the shredded beef. Um, I added some barbecue sauce. As soon as this drains down a little bit more, I will add more. We'll have it on our buns with our green beans. And my french fries are in the oven. They'll take about 20 minutes. And here are our barbecue shredded beef sandwiches on buns. French fries and green beans. Heart healthy red wine. Happy Sunday night. For dinner tonight, we are having a pork roast, a Boston butt pork roast that my husband smoked on his grill with some chips, wood chips, smoked it all day long. So now we're going to have it for dinner with our leftover mashed potatoes and green beans from dinners ago and we're also having a caesar salad and heart healthy red wine so happy monday and here is the roast it looks really fabulous and it's been smelling good all day looks really good so that's what we're having for dinner tonight and he used applewood chips in his barbecue to smoke the pork roast just applewood chips not hickory so these are just applewood chips so it looks good smells good i think it will be very good it's really really tender it turned out really nice but it was on the uh barbecue slash smoker all day so what my husband does is he we have a barbecue and then tell your uh, process it's a gas grill you yes use indirect heating with the applewood chips applewood chips you can use a pan of water to keep it moist and applewood chips put it on top of the the flavor bar the burner And then put the roast off to the side. You got a nice crust on it too. Yeah. Bark, is that called a bark? Just the bark. And it's really nice. Ring. Got a lot of good flavor. Show me your smoke ring. Okay. Wow, that's impressive. Mm -hmm. Your meat is very impressive. It's hot. Really? It's still hot? It's blazing hot. Huh? And we ate like 30 minutes ago. We have to cut it up though because we got to put it in a container. We're going to get a lot of really good meals out of this pork roast. And so I got this on sale at Ralph's. It was a digital coupon deal for 97 cents a pound, which is an amazing, phenomenal price for meat. What? Anything under a dollar a pound is amazing, and this is really high quality meat so you can turn your gas any ordinary gas grill into a smoker you don't have to buy a expensive rig well they're nice you, you don't have to thank you so much for cooking dinner tonight dear you're welcome hope you like it it's hot for lunch on Tuesday, we are having tacos. So it's Taco Tuesday lunchtime. This is the last of the the meat that I made in the crock pot, the steak and gravy. I just put it in a skillet, put some taco seasoning mix in it, and we are having shredded beef tacos with refried beans. And I'm having some of my drink for lunch. So that's what we're having for lunch today on Taco Tuesday. For dinner tonight, on Tuesday night, we're having our leftover smoked pork roast and corn on the cob, Caesar salad, and these are leftover biscuits from a couple of nights ago. So happy non-taco dinner Tuesday. We did have Taco Tuesday for lunch, but now it's dinner time and it's not taco time. 
So happy Tuesday. All right, for dinner tonight, on Wednesday night, we are going to have fajitas. So I've got these bell peppers that have been in my fridge for a while. I got these on a really good deal at Ralph's. I have a red onion I'm going to slice up. I'm going to slice all this up, put it on a sheet pan and put it in the oven. So it's kind of a sheet pan meal. I've got tortillas. We've got salsa, sour cream, and non-fat Greek yogurt. And then we have our leftover pork roast or pork butt, shoulder, whatever it is that my husband smoked. I've got a couple of containers of it, so I'm going to cut that up into strips and put that on the sheet pan also just to warm it up and we'll use some chicken taco seasoning mix i prefer the fajita but i don't have it and this will work just fine so let's get to cooking Okay, the fajitas are done and they're ready and we are ready to eat. Okay, here are the fajitas with the beans and the rice and I'm so excited for this dinner. It looks and smells so great. Thank you so much to my darling husband for smoking this pork. It is just going to be so fantastic. So, happy Wednesday night. Right, for dessert tonight, I wanted to make apple pie, so I just picked these apples off of my apple tree, which is up there. That's my apple tree. I got 10 apples, and I would love, this is my little tiny homestead right here. <laughs> All I have is an apple tree. Um, I did plant some bell pepper seeds. We'll see what happens. Every time I try to put something out there, something eats it. Or it gets stomped on. Oh, there's an apple up there I missed. Oh, I'm going to have to go back and get it. So anyway, we are. I would make apple pie, but I don't have any flour. But I do have yellow cake mix, and I have oats, oatmeal. So I'm going to make an apple crisp crumble cobbler -y thing for our dessert tonight. Or tomorrow night. We'll see. It's pretty hot, so I don't really want to turn the oven on, but I need to get these apples done. I'll probably put them in the fridge and let them chill. All right, for dinner tonight, we're having our leftover pork fajitas, the beans that we had left over from last night, and I made some fresh cilantro lime rice and having a cold, frosty one tonight. So happy fajita Thursday. Okay, for dinner tonight, we're going to have uh, probably tacos with our leftover smoked pork butt shoulder roast whatever it is but i'm going to make some beans so i'm going to put them in the crock pot so it's about eight o'clock 8 30 this morning on friday morning i've got my crock pot on and i'm going to rinse these <laughs> i have a uh i have something better but this is what i found first so i'm just going to use this so i'm going to put the beans in here rinse them put them in the crock pot with a few cups of water and we'll just let them cook in the crock pot all day and we'll have beans for our dinner tonight with our tacos we'll cook these beans on high all day long i'll check the water level to make sure that uh, the water is not going away these beans will soak up a lot of water and they will double in size um, so we're going to have some good beans tonight it is now about 6.15. My beans are done. Uh, my husband cut up some garlic and put that in there and some onion, some cracked black pepper, and I put salt in it. So we're going to have our beans now with our tacos. I've got the leftover sh pork that I shredded up and put taco seasoning mix on it. So it's going to kind of be carnitas. And we have leftover cilantro rhyme. <laughs> cilantro lime rice from last night and my taco shells are in the oven warming up and I also made an apple cobbler with the apples that I picked off my tree and here we are tacos cilantro lime rice 
homemade beans in the crock pot. So it is going to be a good dinner tonight. Happy Friday. For dinner tonight, it's a really hot evening. So I made some stuff earlier so that it would be easy to make a dinner without a lot of heat. So I made some coleslaw earlier this morning. So that's been chilling in the fridge all day. I shredded up all the rest of the pork shoulder roast that my husband smoked. It's not very much, but we're gonna mix it with barbecue sauce and we will have barbecue sandwiches with coleslaw and then I'll heat up these beans so that's what we're gonna have for dinner tonight this is the rest of all the pork shoulder roast so it's been really good this week has provided us with tons of dinners and we've had lunches too so let's get to making dinner here it is barbecue beef shredded pork sandwich I'm gonna squirt some barbecue sauce on it beans and coleslaw so that's what we're having for dinner tonight happy saturday night sultry sweaty saturday night for dinner tonight we're having salmon that my darling husband barbecued outside on the grill long grain and wild rice and he also barbecued some broccoli zucchini and yellow squash so that's what we're having for dinner on sunday night happy sunday Smoked with applewood. Smoked with applewood chips also? Okay, awesome. Smells good. Can't wait. Yum, yum. For dinner tonight on this hot summer evening, we are having hot dogs that my husband barbecued and smoked on his grill. And smoked grilled corn on the cob, coleslaw, and these are beans with our leftover beans in the crock pot that we had a few nights ago plus our leftover baked beans from a few nights ago so I just mixed them together and now we've got barbecue beans so happy Monday night happy hot summer Monday night with apple wood we used apple wood chips apple, apple wood chips don't forget them yummy Most important part for dinner tonight on Wednesday, we the salmon that we had a couple nights ago was so good, I had to get some more. So we are having barbecued salmon, long green and wild rice, and barbecue grilled vegetables, which this is uh, yellow squash, zucchini, and broccoli. And we also have some leftover coleslaw from a couple nights ago so we're going to finish that off so that's what we're having for wednesday dinner happy wednesday with some heart healthy red wine for dinner tonight we are at we are at rodrigo's mexican restaurant and we are having margarita cheese enchilada beans rice and a chili relleno because it's a hot evening and we decided to go out and enjoy a nice cool movie and a nice cool dinner out. So happy Thursday. For dinner tonight, I'm gonna make three sauce pasta. I've got the red sauce, the white sauce, and the pesto sauce. I just don't know if I'm gonna do angel hair, if I'm gonna do the penne pasta. Um, I'm not sure and also we're gonna have Caesar salad and garlic hot dog buns so let's get to cooking I've got my water on it's getting ready to boil I just need to open the sauces put them in the pan and heat them up and dinner will be ready in no time this is shelf cooking so this is all stuff I had in my pantry the pasta and the sauce the salad is fresh, but and the hot dog buns are from the shelf, and yeah, so it's kind of a shelf cooking pantry meal. All right, here's the three sauce pasta. I ended up using the penne pasta, so we got the red sauce, the white sauce, the pesto, the Caesar salad, the mangled garlic hot dog buns, heart healthy red wine. 
It's going to be our 35 year wedding anniversary in a couple of days. So my darling husband got me this big, beautiful bouquet of red roses. So they are so pretty and I just love them so much. Thank you, darling husband. So happy Friday night. Oh, and he got me this hummingbird feeder. Two of them. Two of them. Here's one, and then way out there is another one hanging on the big giant bird of paradise. But there it is, right there. Yeah, so I haven't personally seen any hummingbirds come by, but he said they've been coming by and having a drink. So happy Friday. For dinner tonight, I'm going to make a pasta bake. So last night with the leftover pasta, I'm going to put it in a casserole dish. And it's not too blazy hot today, so that's why I'm going to make it in the oven. I've got some leftover non-fat plain Greek yogurt I want to use up. I've got leftover Alfredo sauce, some feta cheese to use up out of the refrigerator, leftover pesto sauce from last night. I've got some tartar sauce. That I'm going to put in it. It's left over from a few nights ago. I've got some cheeses I want to use up. This is provolone cheese. It needs to be trimmed up and I'm going to use that up. I like to be proactive and try to use it up before it goes completely bad. And I'm going to put some shredded carrot in it, some diced onion, diced yellow squash, and some broccoli. And here's the pasta. And hopefully it won't overflow, but if it does, I'll have to make two casserole dishes. And there's more Alfredo back here. So we're going to put it all together, assemble it, and put it in the oven for about 30 to 45 minutes at 350 degrees. So let's get to cooking. Okay, I did really, really good not overfilling it. I mixed everything in here. I would love to use the rest of this. There's only a little bit left, but I'm afraid I'm going to overflow. So I'm just going to put the cheese on top now and put it in the oven. I used up my Alfredo, both of them. I used up the tartar sauce, the Greek yogurt, the pasta. I did put about another little tiny handful of pasta in it. And it's ready to cook. This is the vegetables that I have left over that I did not want to put in the casserole because I was afraid it would overflow. Now, <clears throat> I was just going to put them in this zipper bag and put them in my refrigerator for using another day. But I know me, and you know me, and nobody knows me better than me. And this is just going to get shoved to the back of the refrigerator. And then I'm going to find it in two weeks. It's going to be slimy and gross. So what I'm going to do is just chop it up, put it in the zipper bag, and put it right in the freezer. This is great for soups in the winter. When I make my vegetable beef soup, I will have vegetables to put in it. So that's what I'm going to do. Just cut it up, put it in the back in the zipper bag that I had the broccoli in and put it in the freezer right now. And I also use the broccoli stalks because they make great soup. They, they really are good in soup. It's like celery stalks. So broccoli stalks have a ton of nutrition and when they're in your soup they just melt away and you don't even know they're there. So I'm definitely using these broccoli stalks. It stresses me out when I see people cooking and they're cutting all these broccoli stalks off and they're just throwing them away. But we are going to use them and put them in our soup and bulk up our soup to make it extra nutritious. That's a lot of vegetables. That's like a bag of frozen vegetables, which you can hardly even get a bag of frozen vegetables for less than a dollar. And usually they're a dollar fifty or two dollars. So this is a really good deal going straight into the freezer. All right, here it is out of the oven. It's really, really full. And here's my garlic hot dog buns. So dinner is ready. And here's dinner tonight, pasta bake, garlic hot dog buns, 
and this is sweet kale cranberry salad and heart healthy red wine so happy Saturday For dinner tonight, we are having baby back ribs that my darling husband smoked on his barbecue grill using hickory wood pellet, wood chips. And we're having Caesar salad to go with it and corn on the cob that he put on the barbecue also and some baked beans. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight. Happy Sunday night. Okay, for dinner tonight, we are at the Northwoods Inn and we are celebrating 35 years of wedded bliss. So happy 35 year anniversary to my darling husband. So I ordered the filet mignon. It comes with rice and baked potato. It comes with this delicious salad. We've got the red cabbage one and the other one. It's just really good and we have water to drink with our dinner tonight. So happy. Diana, that's medium. Wow, that's medium. So happy Monday night. For dinner tonight, we are having our leftover Northwoods Inn steak, leftover rice, leftover bread, a little bit of baked potato leftover, and darling husband grilled some yellow squash and zucchini on the grill, and also some sweet corn. So it's going to be a good dinner tonight. Happy Wednesday. Oh, we also have some leftover salad here. We've got the leftover cabbage salad. So happy Wednesday. Okay, so here's the hickory wood chips and here is my husband smoking the pork shoulder butt. And he's got his wood chips in here. And what's this down here? Is that more wood chips? In this smoker box right yeah, here? And then good. this is water, pan of water so that he can keep the heat at a certain level yeah that doesn't show up on video but here it is all starting to smoke so after about 12 hours we'll be eating dinner <laughs> and while my husband's out here smoking the pork butt pork shoulder butt he likes to watch the hummingbirds come and get a drink from the hummingbird feeder and it smells so good out here. It smells like we are at the fair because this hickory... Are you doing hickory chips or applewood today? Started with I apple. Can't, I can't see that. 140. Looking for 160 at first. Okay. Started with apple and now it has hickory in it. it okay, let's, let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at the pork shoulder butt. Mmm, it's looking good. It's smelling really good. He's filling his water pan. It's nice because he can do all the cooking out here and keep the house nice and cool. Thank you so much, dear. For dinner tonight, I am at Bunko and I'm having corn pot ravioli, Caesar salad, and garlic bread. And I am drinking water. So happy Thursday, it's very loud. I'm having water, but there is also these yummy things which are really, really good. Um, but I'm just going to drink water tonight so I can have dessert. For dinner tonight, we are having a shredded smoked pork enchilada casserole that my husband did on the barbecue outside so we didn't have to heat up the house because it's really, really hot today. So it looks really good, smells good, and we're having black beans and corn on the cob. He did the corn on the cob outside also. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight. Happy Saturday. For dinner tonight, we are having shredded leftover pulled shoulder butt pork tacos and 
I just shredded up the meat and put it in a pan and put taco seasoning mix in it and then we are I made tacos with it and we have leftover black beans and some new fresh cilantro lime rice and a chip so happy taco Sunday it's not taco Tuesday it's taco Sunday tacos are always my favorite meal around here.